Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. We got a new segment today. Uh, Jack and I think we're gonna call it Jack and Cindy. What's up with that? No, I don't know what to call it. We can't say that. I don't. I don't know what to call it. You know. No, I, we can't say that because that's what's up with Jack and Cindy or something like that. What are you? Are well, you the brains on this? I. That's the problem. Uh, but basically, what we're gonna do is this is a segment we might talk about grandparenting, uh, parenting. Uh, we might um, we might review a movie we've seen or a TV show, something like that. But we're going to have different segments and just go from there. If, if you have different things and you want us to talk about, just go ahead and put it in the comment section and we'll go from there. But today, today we thought we'd talk about uh, when we found out we were going to be a grandparent and what to, what we were going to be called. Oh, Good. that's a good idea. I like that. You do like that? Yeah. Uh, Look at you. You are smart. There you go. But, and good looking. That's me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we, we when uh, we found out, you were very excited. Oh, I was over the moon because... I wish we had film of it because you were kind of... Well, do you remember the conversation? We did, We went and it was October mm -hmm. of 2013. I had we, already figured it out. Yeah, well, no, let me tell the story. So, Jay called and said he wanted to t come over and have pizza and meat that's over at the house. Which the they never... They which they never, ever, ever offered to do food. Yeah. Ever. Well, no, they never really want to come over. No, don't say that. Okay. I no, no, no. Anyway, so we were like, okay, so then we're, we were in between cities, weren't we? Because we hadn't, hadn't arrived in Raleigh yet. So you and I, so what we were doing is, we're thinking, okay, maybe she's going to tell us she's pregnant. So we're researching, Jack and I. Well, I'm looking for uh, Like, if uh, she's still drinking wine. Yeah. I've, some I've, kind of I've, alcohol. I've, let's let's see yeah. Instagram she's drinking Yeah, we're, we're trying to figure this out. because I, we, don't, I don't see any alcohol. Yeah, so we're getting excited. But then we're like, okay, maybe they're going to tell us something else. Like, maybe they're going to move back to New York. Maybe it's not yeah, what we thought, thought it was. But I was, it was I was pretty confident. But Jack was pretty confident it was going to be grandparent. And then I, of course, was misnegative negative. And I was like, no, I bet that's her telling us they're going to move. Da, 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 because I think I saw Colleen with a glass of wine. So I was like, or she, or she ran or something, did a marathon or something. I know. You can run when you're still pregnant. I know that. I taught skating all the way to the end. Anyway, I the so I was just like, so I was kind of like downplaying it because I didn't want to get my hopes up because I couldn't wait to be a grandparent. We were one of those obnoxious parents. Yes, we Why'd were. you get married if you're not going to have kids? Yeah, we were. Yeah, looking back at it now, that's probably wrong. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's Well, weird. looking back at it, especially with the struggles our two daughters have had of getting pregnant, you, you understand now that you shouldn't do that stuff, that everybody has their own personal story when it comes to um, getting yeah, pregnant. If, if you're, besides us, the rest of you need to back off. They'll get pregnant when they <laughs> I, get pregnant. I realize so many things. It's amazing how even at almost 59, I'm still growing and understanding and well, trying to remember better too, at when it. People said it to us. Of course, we, we had a ready-made family. You were pregnant. When we got married, I was pregnant with Heather and we had Jay. Right. So, so we, did a little, we were a little backwards. Yeah. So anyway, so... I, was it after Zach was born or before Colin came to us and said, "What do no, you no, want?" No, no, we didn't tell a story. So they oh. came in with pizza. They bought pizza. They came story in, never ends. and they sat and they told us we're pregnant. I screamed and ah! cried like there was no tomorrow. Craziness, absolutely I was, I was out of this world. I knew it. Anyway, so it was it was probably one of the top ten moments in my life. Top ten. Well, marrying you was awesome. Having our own kids was awesome. I'm pretty happy I made the top ten. That's pretty I know. cool. You should be. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so we're excited. And then, was it before Zach was born or after? Before Zach was born. She goes, what do you want to be called? I go, uh, and then well, Jay my name thought is I Jack. I know. <laughs> well, Jay thought I wanted to be called Nana like my mom. But I was like, no. No. Because I have a story for that. Can I tell the story? Right, tell your story okay. about your mom. So, my, if any of you have ever watched Terms of Endearment with Shirley MacLaine when... Um, Debbie Wigner, I don't know her name of the character on Terms of Endearment, told her she was pregnant. She threw an absolute fit. It was like ridiculous carrying on and like that. So when I told my mother that she was going to be a grandmother for the first time, her response to me was she wanted the kids to call her Joan. <laughs> she did not want to be called a grandma. After, Absolutely did not want to be called. I, so after Mommy Dearest? Yeah, that was one of her favorite actors, by the way. Anyway, Joan, uh, Joan Crawford. Joan so Crawford. anyway, your young kids playing it. Yes. So I was just like, "That's ridiculous, Mom. My kid's not going to call you Joan. She's going to call you Grandma. I don't want to call him." And she I was a young looking grandma. I don't understand she, the problem. Really, give my mom compliments. That's nice of you. Yeah, I can be nice every now. And You're then. giving her okay past tense because she's not on this earth anymore, unfortunately. Okay. But anyway, I'm sure I said it before. Okay, so because she was 50 when Jay was born. So, anyway, so we ended up coming up with Nana. So, I wanted to be grandma. I wanted grandma, 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 I, grandma, I grandma. Did, I, you I, didn't I, care. I didn't care. I said, he can call me whatever he wants. I don't care. But well, we didn't know. Like, if they can, he or she can call me whatever they want. I really don't care. Just don't call me stupid. That's, that was my only requirement. 
I wasn't one of those people, I want to be called grandma or grandpa. I wasn't one of those formal people. Right. I don't care. Call me whatever you want. I don't. They could even call me Jack. I wouldn't have cared. No. I wouldn't have cared. No. But they didn't. That's okay. Okay. Anyway, so I wanted to be grandma. But then Zachary. Zachary. Our first grandchild came up with his the own. The chosen one. The, the, oh, he is so sweet. He was to be five in June. Anyway, he came up with it because he could only say G, G. So I ended up becoming a Gigi, Gigi, and which I, I feel fits me perfectly. And and uh, I was Papa, which I was great because my dad, my our kids and uh, other kids in the family called my dad Papa. So I thought it was a it was a, tribute a great to honor me, yeah. honor to me. And then you know, like my mom was called Grandma Bev, which was un, unusual because her name is Judy. <laughs> and I, so I was like, why did I call him Grandma? But that's okay. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> but you know, to me, it's like okay, I I can be Papa. So and that's what. Our, that's what Zach has started, and uh, Alex will probably follow suit with Papa and Gigi, and right. and and Ava Rose will probably say the same thing. Right. We always say it's Papa, Papa's coming, Papa's coming, or Gigi's coming, Gigi's coming. So I'm happy with it. I'm, yeah, I, I'm happy I, with the name. But now I, that I have it, it doesn't phase me. Like, say, I would never, I would never have put pressure on the. No, you need to call me Grandma. You need to call right. me Grandma. I, no, I wouldn't either. Because we've never been that way. I'd be different with our, our kids. It's a different yeah, story, but, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's her story. And but but I also think it's when Heather was pregnant, and then she wanted to know if I still wanted to be called Gigi, and I said, well, yeah, I'm not going to have Zachary and um, Alex call me Gigi, and then have the um, Ava. Ava call me something different. So I am Gigi. But it's funny because the kids always call my mom Nana her whole whole time. Yep. And then my, your mom, Grandma Bev, at one point, I think the kids switched over and just called her Grandma, because they used to call yeah. Papa Jack, Papa, Papa Jack, Jack, Papa yeah. Jack, and then they went to Papa. They went to Papa. Yeah, and then they called her Grandma. Right. And they didn't put the Grandma Bev anymore. I don't know why we started Grandma Bev. It was because Jay was so young, and that was what we... I think Jay started Grandma Bev. Did he? I can't remember. I think, I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't either. It's too long ago, but that's, that's our story from that. That's our first grandparenting story. We'll have more later on. If you guys have a suggestion, something you'd like to talk about, maybe a question, because... We're experts now. We have three. Uh, <laughs> we're experts. <laughs> we're, sure, we're I don't experts. know. We do things wrong every time. It's really hard um, to be a grandmother and grandfather or grandparents um, and but we'll talk follow about, rules. But we'll, like we'll, that, we'll, but we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that. Uh, maybe the next segment is what the parents' rules are and what the grandparents' rules are. Maybe we could, we'll talk about that on the next okay. segment. If you like this... Well, wait, one more thing, though. I do have to say this. I want to say one more thing. Okay. My grandmother always said... That being a mother was awesome, but being a grandmother was out of this world. And, and she was right. She was right. And I've heard that. You hear that your whole life growing up. It is it is a lot more fun being a grandparent than a parent because you get all the rewards and all that. Yeah. But we'll talk about that later. This is our first video. If you, if you like it, share it with a friend. You can subscribe to the channel. A little button right, I think, It's right there. down there. I, I think it's, a, it. it's right. No, I think that's the subscribe button's over here. Kick your nose. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's great. Uh, and then, you know, a little bell has signal on there, but that's all we got. That's all we got for this week. We'll come up with a better name later on, but we're just kind of winging it right now. But that's all we got. Uh, I'm out of here. Me too. Bye. Thanks for listening. Bye.